Thank you, Chairman Mikowski, Ranking Member Cantwell. I um, gratefully put forward this draft. This is tireless work, and I like the bipartisan spirit that made this possible. Uh, Secretary Bonner, good to see you again. I must say I'm particularly dismayed and outraged this morning. We had breaking news coming out of Montana that uh, hit us. Uh, uh, the Twitter sphere lit up as uh, just yesterday, Weyerhaeuser announced it is closing two mills in Columbia Falls, Montana this summer. 100 Montanans are going to lose their jobs. These are good paying jobs on top of another 100 job cuts that were previously announced. The company said they've been running below capacity because of an ongoing shortage of logs in the region. And I want to put to rest this nonsense I hear from folks who are opposed to forest management saying the reason their mills are closing in Montana is because of lack of demand. That is absolutely false. The issue is lack of logs. And by the way, it's not lack of available timber. Uh, some of our mills today in Montana are getting logs over 500 miles away. We go to other states to get logs. We go to other countries, we go to Canada to get logs. It's, it's ridiculous, it's got to end. This body needs to act to help save right now our forests through healthy more forest management practices and these jobs. I wanna draw your attention to the Flathead National Forest which surrounds much of Columbia Falls. The map behind me, the section in orange are the acres suitable for timber harvest in the forest, in fact, if you look at where the red circle is, that's where the warehouser uh, operation is at. So that we just put this map together literally last night when we got news. Uh, nobody saw this coming. Uh, we, we, we knew that our timber industry has been, been, been uh, very clear that they can't get logs. Now we just saw 100 Montanans lose their jobs as a result of this. But if you look at that, at that map, there's, over, there's about 700,000 acres of suitable timber for harvest there we could get to in National Forest, that's, that's the colors in that, on that chart. That's all within 100 miles of that warehouser operation. Despite the hard work of the Flatheads Forest Service workers, the volumes off this, of harvest coming off this forest and nearby National Forest is not anywhere where it can and should be. The latest mill closings are deeply unfortunate and they're also not surprising. Over the past generation, since I was a kid growing up in Montana, we've lost two-thirds of our mills. We had over 30 when I was a kid. We're down to 10. Here's one more to put on the list. We've lost 40% of our product, wood products workforce. It's 4,000 jobs. And the irony is that we're talking about these job loss. We go into other committee hearings talking about the importance to keep PILT and SRS going forward here so our counties that are surrounded by our federal lands who have lost their natural resource base, no longer have a tax base to fund their schools and their teachers and their infrastructure. And we've got these dying communities. In fact, a family up in Eureka, uh, which is Lincoln County just nearby where this uh, uh, plant closing occurred, a couple years ago was having dinner and they said, basically we describe Northwest Montana as poverty with a view. That's what's going on. So we've previously discussed the impacts of litigation in Montana. And we've had hearing after hearing after hearings. We talk about getting to one of the core challenges. If we're going to fix this problem and move forward towards responsible timber harvest, we need to have some reforms in litigation. There are currently, listen to this, there are currently 21 projects under litigation. 13 of these were developed using collaborative processes. And recent objections filed by these fringe environmental extremist groups do not represent the 80 to 90 percent of most Montanans they're stopping these projects and they're singling, there's gonna be more litigation that lies ahead. So my question with that as a background, as the committee continues to work on this draft, I'm convinced we can find common ground on meaningful litigation reforms, such as expanding HEFRA's balance of harms protections, closing loopholes that fringe groups have exploited in the courtroom, as we've seen in the Cottonwood versus Forest Service case. For instance, strengthening the objections process and establishing a pilot arbitration authority. Can I get your commitment to work with us, to work with me and other members of this committee towards finding consensus on such solutions that can be incorporated into this emerging legislation? 
So um, we're happy to work with you on forest management uh, reforms. Uh, my concern about litigation is whether or not we can uh, maintain a middle so that we can move something forward. Because do, do, do you believe litigation is a significant litigation problem is a force? challenge, and it's a big challenge in your part of the world. There's no question. So, oh, um, can I get your commitment to work with us to find some common ground? We'll on, we'll on continue to work with you, and I'll and I just say um, understand there are that, that's not a yes. I mean, can I get a yes from you that you will work with us on trying? Absolutely, to find we're going to work Thank with you. you. I, I appreciate that because it's we're to the point now, I and mean, this is something when you when your phones are ringing, when you're seeing a hundred. 100 Montana families now losing jobs uh, because of lack of logs. When you're surrounded by timber, we, something's got to change here. All right, thank you.